Italy and here in British Columbia, we are witnessing a range of health impacts that are directly linked to changing climate patterns. BC's health minister has announced a new initiative that aims to get air conditioning units into the homes of vulnerable people for free. On Tuesday, Adrian Dix said the province is giving BC Hydro $10 million to get 8,000 units installed over the next three years. This means more vulnerable people will have access to cooling devices when we experience high temperatures and can keep themselves and their life loved ones safer from extreme heat. The announcement comes two years after the record-setting heat dome that killed 619 British Columbians. A coroner's report found only 7% of those who died had air conditioning and recommended the province provide ACs to those living in single room apartments. We know that it was the temperature inside, not the temperature outside, that killed people. And we know the vast, vast majority of the people who died were in their own homes. They were over the age of 65. BC's seniors advocate says while ACs are part of protecting vulnerable seniors, they're not the full solution. So we also need to plan that we'll be moving some of these uh, seniors to uh, a setting for a few days where the temperature is cooler. So for want of a better term, an evacuation plan um, for those uh, seniors for whom we can't get them the air conditioning unit or the air conditioning won't work in their particular uh, setting. The province has made several other changes following the heat dome, including launching a heat alert system, boosting investments in BC emergency health services, and connecting care providers with people at risk. But one UBC prof says a comprehensive strategy is lacking. This is not something actually we should be dealing with with sort of piecemeal um, kind of approaches. Really thinking, you know, more holistically about building design, um, neighborhood design, you know, really like shading, natural ventilation. We know we can actually ventilate homes very well naturally. Dix suggesting the province's response is not over. It should be required of us and required of us to take action on climate change. And we are, and we need other jurisdictions to join us in that effort and work with us in that effort. Uh, and in addition to that, we need to, um, we need to continue to adapt and adapt again and adapt again, and we will do that. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.